<laughs> As of me recording this, Dragon's Age is officially like a day old now. Everybody's bashing it. I'm currently playing through it now, and I'm not even gonna say any of my opinions on it because it's a lose-lose overall situation where you're just not allowed to have even a slightly positive opinion on it, so f*** you. But anyway, a few people are actually criticizing the game itself. Everyone wants to focus on the transgender mentions. Gaming no longer feels genuine whatsoever, and this as well as two other games with a lot of discourse prove that no one else in the online space really cares for a high quality game, and more so people care about their own competition on who can effectively win the grift wars for the new world records of calling as many things woke as possible. So here's a big clip from Asmongold where the player is shown an option to render their character as trans. Keep in mind, this is your custom character. Uh oh, uh oh, here we go. Establishes transgender identity and unlocks do new dialogue options in future conversations. I love who I am. It feels good to see the real me. Um, uh, uh, should I do it? I mean, every single option makes me transgender. Every single option makes me transgender. I, I, there's no option not to be transgender. But wait, Trashman Gold, what about that one? I'm pretty sure it'll take you back to the previous options, no? This is makes uh, me trans. This one does, uh, and this one. Uh, it, no, I don't know. Asman, why, I, Asman, I have just to chill out. No, trans, no guys. you don't. You don't I have to be I, just. I, I, this is what Donald Trump was talking about. What, I'm getting what there. What does Trump it feels have to? Good to oh see my God. Me. See, here's the thing. Asman Gold's not completely retarded. He may not know how to clean his room, but he knows what he's doing. He knows the kind of audience he's catering. To. This is exactly what I mean when I say gaming discourse sucks. Because while this game isn't the best, Stellar Blade, Assassin's Creed Shadows, and Spider-Man 2 are all victims of people caring more about the political commentary included in the games rather than the games themselves. Sparking Zero ain't got to deal with this, I'll tell you that though. Oh hey, look at that, my character doesn't have to be trans, I can just go back and select the options I've had before getting here. You know, those of y'all who complain about people from like IGN and shit or horrible gaming journalists because they aren't good at the game aren't really making a solid case for yourselves when you have Asmongold doing this shit right here. I can't, I, I, guys, I'm, I, I don't know what to do. Remember when Stellar Blade was really cool, but then everyone over-exaggerated over its censorship and decided to always play the game offline to prove a non-existent point, even though said censorship was hardly really grand? And even when it's far to cancel their PlayStation Plus memberships over a single-player game? Good times, that was like, what, four months ago? Like I said, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you, oh, Dragon's Age is greater, oh, Dragon's Age sucks, I just find it kind of funny how people talk about politics in video games. And like I said, it gets so over-exaggerated. Remember how people flipped out over like three gay people in Spider-Man 2 and a bunch of flags, even though the game's plot overall, while flawed, isn't halted by any unnecessary political points? Unless you just hate black people. <laughs> I don't know, man. When people flip out like this, it kind of takes away any credibility when complaints are made and even have a small level of legitimacy towards them. Like, yeah, I said it before, bashing a political point over your audience's head which can be a bit daunting when it's unnecessarily prioritized over the main plot or what's needed to be conveyed in a story or game but it's not this case here 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 or i'll even say here can i can i do it again I, I, oh well All right. 